Spades Granger, the producer and director of Juice of Spades. Uh, Vic Edelbrock's Roaster was uh, part of the inspiration for uh, this car you're in right now, isn't it? Yes. Actually, I saw the picture of Vic's Roadster going through the finish line at El Mirage. It was a very old black and white photo, probably dating back from the 40s, I assume. And fell in love with this Roadster. I just thought that was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. And just a whole romantic feel of, you know, the combination of the Roadster, the jalopy, you know, no headlights, no windshield. Uh, understated with the racing numbers and the dry lake and that was an image that really kind of struck me when I was looking for a hot rod that became sort of my goal I wanted to find a roadster that was as close as possible to this and I did find this one then of course I did quite a bit of work on it just to revert it back further to that same traditional image I took off the windshield as you can see and I've been driving without a windshield for about five years or so. <laughs> Probably the only person in the country can pull it off without getting a ticket from the cops. She gets a thumbs up. That's because I'm a girl. Uh, but um, to make a long story longer, uh, that inspired me of course. Uh, getting the car then inspired me to make the film. But when I made the film, that image of Vic's Roadster was so uh, imprinted into my consciousness that I really wanted to bring that into the film. And if you watch the movie, you'll see a scene where we hear Johnny's letter and we see that roadster at sunset gliding through this, this great expanse of dry lake uh, with the dust flying and it's gold and it's red. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we did a lot of shoots up at El Mirage and truthfully, that was a big roadster that sort of started it all for me. Well, we appreciate you sharing your story with us today and uh, everybody go out and see Deuce of Spades. And it was an honor to be here. Thank you.